Can't wait to marry you, this is coming from my heart I'm in love with your soul, I felt that from the start I found my other half, and never will we part This is a vow I'm making to you and God Do I promise to love you? Do I promise to cleave to you? Am I gonna be faithful? Shalom, shalom Shalom, most high in Christ bless I'm brother Yashar I'm Sister Yadira. And we are married to the truth. So this is going to be a, a podcast that we're working on. And it's about um, married couples, obviously, in the truth, right? And um, like the trials and tribulations and everything that a married couple would go through in the truth, mm-hmm. you know? Um, you want to say anything? Um. As just, this is our first video, so I'm hoping that you tune in and you like it, and it's going to be exciting. Right, so being that this is our first video, we're going to talk about um, how we came into the truth um, as a married couple, because we were married already when we came into the truth, so um, we came into the truth together. So we're going to, I guess, we're going to give our interpretation on how we came into the truth. I want her to go first and give her interpretation and then I'll give mine. So, ladies first. Mm. <clears throat> well, as my king, I'll let you go first and I'll follow. No. <laughs> no. Why? No, I have no, to no. follow. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. All give right, your so interpretation first. Because my, my, my interpretation is probably going to be a little bit in depth. Yeah, and we, so. didn't even, we don't even know what we're going to say, so I'm curious to see what he's going to say. <laughs> uh, mine, mine is a little bit more in depth. So. Oh, okay. Well, mine is pretty quick. Right. Um, I think at the time, uh, the kids were, you know, they were young. And I, pretty much, long story short, I was, of course, I was in the world and I was looking for God. So I'm like, oh, let me, you know, start going to church. The kids were getting older, but they were still small, but I, I wanted to introduce them. So I said, okay, I decided to join a Christian church. Um, it was really close. So I'm like, okay, I'll go to Sunday school. And then um, going for a while, they were doing like baptism. So I was like, oh, okay, I really want to get baptized, uh, believing in whatever baptism meant with water um, by a man. <laughs> so I was like, okay, let me go get baptized. And, um, I ended up getting baptized. And from there, on my point of view, that's what drove you to like, in my view, he hated it. He didn't want me going to that church. He was like, oh, how these people are, you know, like why these women are dressed like that. They looking whorish and blah, blah, blah. And I was just, I was clueless to the truth. Um, so I thought it was just him like, Oh, just, I don't know, just overpowering or whatever. And then he's like, you know what? I'm going to read on my own and figure out what's happening because this doesn't seem right. And I got into the truth from that. It was like, to me, it was like the way the most high got us in. He got me in first to the church He was like, "Uh uh-uh, this is not what's popping. I'm going to read the word and see what God says. And then he was like, yo, babe, did you know, like, this and this is in the Bible? And I was like, "Mm, no, (laughs) because mostly on Sundays, you just praise and worship, and they read the Bible for a little bit, and, you know, how you know how Christian shirts are. But, yeah, long story short, he ended up opening the Bible, reading the word, and he said, nah, we have to be following these laws. And I was like, laws? Mm, I don't know about that. (laughs) Um... But yeah, and then it all went uphill from there. <laughs> What's your version? <laughs> That's pretty good. That was pretty good. Um, yeah, so she gave a good interpretation of, of how it went down. Um, a, a short version, nonetheless, but um, it's pretty accurate, nonetheless. That's pretty good. That was a pretty good um, interpretation. But like I said, I know mine would have been more in-depth. So we're about to go a little bit in depth. All right. Um, so let's put on our serious face for a little minute. Uh oh. Just a little minute. Yeah. We'll be back. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, get your popcorn. It's gonna yeah, be a get long you, one. Get your popcorn. Get your popcorn ready for this. Get comfortable. Way. Because no, no. So on in all seriously, um, seriousness. Um, it 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 it, it, it was something that went down. 
a little weird. Um, so, so first off, um, I was never into um, worldly stuff. Like, even though I was part of the world, you know, growing up, I grew up in the hood. We like we grew up in the same hood, mm -hmm. um, doing hood stuff. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, right? Um, but I was never, never, never like a Christmas fan or a Thanksgiving fan or Easter fan. I never really cared about any of those holidays. Like, like once I became a teenager, I didn't care about Christmas. Like, I, I, I only liked Christmas when I was a kid because I used to get toys. You know, after I grew after I was like 13, I didn't care about that stuff at all. Um, I didn't want to be around family during those times. I just wanted to be outside. Like, I didn't care about spending the holidays or whatever. So even with a family that was doing holidays, I still didn't care for it. Like something in my, in me, you know, in my spirit just didn't care about holidays. Right. So she touched on um, a time when, when um, she decided to go to the church. Right. So at this time, um, we already had two kids. Um, we were struggling. We were living with her mom. Mm -hmm. Right. And, um, that's when she had decided that she wanted to go and join a church or whatever. Um, at this time, when, you know, living with her mom, you know, we would do holidays, right? And um, I always wanted to be stuck in the room. Like, I didn't care about being out. Socializing. Yeah, I didn't yeah. care about socializing with the family or anything. I just, I didn't care. I didn't care about holidays and none of that. So I, just, I, I would stay stuck in the room and just do my own thing, right? But, um... So, so she goes to church. Um, we, and again, we're struggling, um, living with the mom. She goes to church, and um, like immediately, I knew something was wrong. I knew something was off. Um, what, what really, um, you know, she, like she said, she got baptized in the church, and and her family was there, and her family was like, ah, oh, you know, all happy. And I'm I'm sitting back, and I'm looking at everything, and I'm like, it, this is so fake. You know, it was like, it was, this is just so fake. It's just a show. And so one day she goes to the church and they have like this show. And it's like, um, she told me, she goes, oh, at the church, they're going to do this thing where we get closer to God. Right. So I'm like, closer to God. Like, they're going to show you how to get closer to God. How, how, how is this? Mm -hmm. Right. So, so, so she starts explaining on about how they're going to set up the church and do like this, you know, stuff. So I'm like, I got curious. I forgot what it's called. It was like called something. They yeah, called it, yeah, some some weird, yeah, weird stuff. stuff. So yeah. I got curious, and I wanted to go to the church while they were doing this, and so they didn't let me in the church. And like there was this this snotty ass lady, this rude ass lady at the door, and she didn't let me in. She was like, "No, we can't let you in." And I'm like, "But my wife is there," and she's like, "Well, we can't let you in." And I'm like, "What kind of church is this? It seems more like a cult." Anyway, so. So I wasn't allowed in the church and um, they so, yeah, I wasn't allowed in the church. And then um, I come I come back home. I'm chilling. She comes home. She's telling me how it was, how they set the mood and they set the ambience and, yeah. and everything. And, and, and like, that's how you get closer to God. I, don't ask me how that works, because I just still to this day, 20 years later, I, I still don't understand how that works. But um, but so. So it kind of sparked this fire in me to um, to read the Bible, right? And to see what is it that the man who we call Jesus, right? Because at the time, I didn't even know anything, right? We so I, 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 just, I knew who Jesus was, but I, I was like, let me, let me look up. We never really read it for ourselves. Right. So I was like, let me look up who this Jesus dude is and what he wants, right? And what he expects, right? So at the time... I was doing tattoos and so I was getting into doing tattoos and stuff. So we was eating pork. We was doing everything like, was you in know, the world. in yeah. the world. So, um, so I read about, you know, this guy named Jesus and how he, um, you know, basically telling his us, to, you know, his teachings on how to not sin and how to keep the law and all this other stuff. And I'm like, you know, I never heard this stuff before. So I start reading. I start reading more. Then I see that we have to keep these things called commandments and all this stuff. So I start looking at what the commandments are. I find out the commandments are, you know, not eating pork, no tattoos, no shaving, no all of this stuff. And I'm like, oh, damn. And I was in the midst of doing tattoos. So 
immediately I stopped doing tattoos. Mm -hmm. I stopped um stopped eating we stopped eating pork. We that stopped was the easiest. Yeah, we stopped <laughs> eating all that nasty stuff, right? Um, but to bring it back though, there was an instant instance where I was like cuz I started reading the book of Matthew and I started reading all this stuff like how, you know, um hypocrites in the church and all that so i said babe let's go to your church you know i want to go to your church with and you ask questions. yeah so i went to the church and there was a lady sitting next to me right like right here oh you actually went to the service yeah remember yes, i went to yes, church. Yes. I, went, I went like two or three yeah, times yeah to peep it out <laughs> yeah so so yes. so no, no, I, we have to bring it back you know let's just bring it back to the experience at in her the church. church yeah the christian church <laughs> so so there's a lady sitting right like right here and I'm right here where I'm at. And so the, the pastor says, everybody put your hand on the person that's to the left of you. So the lady puts her hand on my shoulder and me being um, real confrontational because I, I am confrontational. That's just my natural nature. I'm confrontational. I'm also a tester. Like I would test you. So I wanted to prove to my wife that Christians are full of crap. So the lady puts her hand on me and I look at her and I say, don't touch me. And she immediately, she, she said, well, F you then. In the church. As a Christian, right? Where I was like. Instead of respecting the fact <laughs> that you didn't want to be touched. Right. She got immediately. Immediately the, demon, the demon came out of mm -hmm. her. So I'm like, I looked at my wife. I'm like, you see? Then, um, you know, like praying and, and all this other stuff. You know, I was like, look, babe, this is whack. Let's go find another church. I was like, you want to come to church? Fine. I'm, I was already starting to read the Bible, so I was already getting into the Word of God and wanting to believe. and Because that's just naturally what happens, right? And so you saw about the pants, too, and the woman in the church and how they were dressed. Yeah, and so the and church modest. that, yeah, right, the church that she was going to, a lot of these women were dressed very immodest, tight pants. Um, I remember one time I was outside the church waiting for her, and there was a girl with a button-up shirt, and it was her cleavage was all out. And she comes out the church and she's like, oh, I feel good. That felt so good. But yeah, she got her breast all out. Anyway, so I was like, babe, you know, all right, you want to come to church? Let's find another church. So we go to this Catholic church, right? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. So as soon as we walk in the church, I see a, um, I see a, we, I see a guy bending down, praying to the, the, the white image of Jesus committing idolatry according to exodus 20 verse 4 right so i'm like i'm like damn you know then we look around we sit in there we look around and then but idols all around the whole damn church or whatever so a right, lot. we see the we see the priest right and i'm like oh can we have a meeting with you where we sit down and talk ask questions right sit down talk have questions i mean ask questions and he said yeah cool so we, we set up a date we went and um I started cutting him and I wasn't even in the truth. Like this was just from what you have been this reading. This is just from what I have been reading own. on my own. Yeah, this mm -hmm. was even before you started watching this the is, truth yeah, on, on YouTube. Because yeah, we didn't we didn't come into the truth till we moved, moved to, to Virginia. Virginia. Yeah. So we were still in New York. Yeah. And um So this was from the little bit because once you opened that book and you started reading it. That thing was just like, oh, my God, you were hungry for it. You right. kept wanting to read and read and read. So you started learning on your own. Right. So, um, so we have this meeting with this priest or whatever, and I start cutting him. You know, I'm asking he, him. He couldn't even answer questions. Yeah, he can't even answer the questions. I'm asking him, like, why do you allow your people, your congregation to call you father when the Messiah says, call no man father? He couldn't answer. Mm -mm. Um, he started going around and giving me this whole story about Dispatches. Mexico and all this other stuff. <laughs> he was sweating. Yeah. <laughs> he could not. He was uncomfortable. He kept fidgeting. And, it, and mm. then... Um, Even I, the statues. I yeah, guess. I asked him. I said, why do you allow your people to um, bow down, bow to, down the to the statues and pray to the statues knowing that's idolatry? And he's like, well, I can't, I can't control everybody. I can't tell nobody what to do. I'm like, but you're the, you're the priest. You're the and they leader. will listen to you if you come out the, the Bible and yeah. tell them, you know, what's wrong or right. And, um, yeah, he just got cut. So we knew immediately that the church was not the answer. So we would just be watching, like, Joel Osteen and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. Joseph Joyce, Prince, and, Joyce oh, yeah, Myers. Just, oh, my gosh. <laughs> just looking for some type of, like... Um, Guidance like, yeah, in the word, like like some spiritual yeah, guidance, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and just like positivity <laughs> and you know. And then it was my daughter's birthday, 
and we was in Times Square, and we mm. was going to the Toys R Us store in Times when when the that. Toys R Us store was in Times Square. Remember? And and because it was my daughter's birthday, I had a camp. Anyway, we're in Times Square, and um, I'm recording, you know. And so we 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 we're across the street from the Toys R Us store. And so I'm, I pop out the camera and I start recording the Toys R Us store. Like, oh, we're going, we're across the street from the Toys R Us. And when I look this way, I see a bunch of men dressed in black, screaming, yelling at a white lady. Right? So I'm like... The signs out. Yeah, with the signs on the floor and everything. Jesus with the devil horns, right? White, white Jesus with the devil horns. So I'm like, what the hell is this? Right? So we, we you know, we just... Gabriella. We took a little thing... <laughs> And then we just kept it moving. We paid the no mind. Two years later, um, so we moved to Virginia. And um, we, was, we was living in Virginia, and I, I'm on YouTube. I'm looking up Christian channels and, you know, trying, trying, to, to, trying to hear the word yes, and all that. Yes. And I bump into some dudes in purple and gold. And it was over from there. Um, they was, oh, my gosh. They, they, the way they were coming out the Bible was, to me was like Whoa. wow like these dudes are speaking my language mm -hmm. like they're talking exactly what i've been reading which is the scriptures and i always wonder why the christians don't do that but anyway i immediately said that's for me this is for me to hell with christianity i want this and um that was like they are this is my awakening yeah, yeah. and um I showed her, you know, how, you know, what they were saying, how, how blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the true children of Israel, That's and how right. we fit the curses, mm -hmm. and I didn't even know about the curses, but... Um, no. Mm -hmm. And remember, before, when I was working, you know, in the hospital, I came across men right in front of the hospital, and I came across it, and um, I saw that, and I was just like, Oh, that's of the devil because I saw like so-called, you know, Jesus, who I thought was Jesus, the white Jesus with the horns and everything. And they were all in black and they looked at, they were just yelling. And of course, your first initial thing is like, oh, my gosh, like these men are wicked. Right. So I crossed the street and I'm just on my lunch break, but I'm listening. But then I'm like, oh, no, like they're too aggressive. You know, like everybody in the, in the world, that's the first thing they say. Why are they yelling? Why are you so loud? <laughs> Until yeah. you learn about it. And then you're like, oh, my gosh. And, and so I, I did come across that before, but I was just like pushing it away, obviously, because I was in the world and I was just blind. Until we moved, um, you know, to Virginia. Mm -hmm. And then when you showed me those videos, and at the time I wasn't working when we moved to Virginia. Right, so right. I was a stay-at-home mom, and you were working full-time. Yeah, I would come home. Oh, my God. I used to work like a night <laughs> shift, kind of. And I would come home, and she would she would be, like, on Look fire. <laughs> Look at this video. Yes, oh, my gosh. Yes. She would have all her precepts written yes, down and I everything. So I was like, she was, she was on fire for the word of the yeah. most high. Like, like. She she actually um she actually made me like like uh, yeah this yeah, is it I'm comfortable my wife is comfortable with this we're in you know what I'm saying that's why we're married to the truth you know what yeah. I'm saying so like I'm, we're in we're we're full steam ahead we're Israelites yeah you know what I'm saying we're Israelites and um it was beautiful it was a beautiful thing it, it really was a beautiful thing and this was two thousand. I'm going to say 2000. Yes, material. I think. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> this is 2015, 15-ish. Yeah. Right? So it's 2003 now. So I'm going to say, what, eight years? 2003. I mean, 2023. <laughs> Sorry. 22. 22. Well, it's December, so we're Well, about, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're about to hit 23. Yeah. So yeah. what is, what this is, is that? This is tears of joy. It's, <laughs> we, so we've known about the truth, what? Five, so we eight, said, eight years now? Wait, because Jaden was um, three, right? Jayden, I don't know. Yeah, because it happened. this all happened in 2010. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was this all happened in 2010. So 10, 20, so 13 years? Is it about 13 years now. Well, I'm going to say less than 13 years because we didn't, we didn't come into the truth to like 2015. Oh, that's true because we were just listening to it. Right, yeah, yeah. right. So... We we started getting into Christianity around 2010, 2011. Oh, you're right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, so yeah. So it's it's, it's been a, it's been a little minute now, going on 
eight years, nine years maybe, I'm going to say, that we've been into the truth. Yeah. Um, and so, so I know that was like long-winded, but the, the whole thing is our journey coming into the truth as a married couple. You know, it's, it's, it's a long story. It's, it's, it's a lot that happened. Um, and I know a lot of you guys, this is the main thing that you guys, whether you're married or not, family. Mm -hmm. Right, the struggles. The struggles with family. Yeah. Um, they shun you. They'll call you devil, wicked. You know all this other type of stuff. Meanwhile, family that's in the world are the devils. Um, you guys are wicked. But they look at you like you're crazy. Yeah, right. But you home. guys are really wicked because you say you believe in God, but you don't do anything that God tells you to do. So you're the wicked one. Um, you celebrate all these pagan holidays, but then look at everybody else like they're crazy. But that's another issue for another day. That's going to be part of the videos. <laughs> that'll, be, that'll definitely be <laughs> part of the videos. The struggles that we go through as we, you know, being in the truth. Correct. And as we're hoping, you know, especially if you're an Israelite and you're watching this, that you can relate to some of these things and know that you're not alone and that as we are growing in the truth, we're going to get attacks and attacks and attacks. And it's just this whole podcast is the point. This is the point of it for us to be able to communicate because eventually, I mean, want you guys to leave comments below and, and tell us your experience. But eventually we would like to, you know, have people come on, right? And, Correct. And, and, and tell their, and their, their, their struggles. Story. Yeah, and, and do this together because mm -hmm. we know, us Israelites, we know how hard it is. Especially in these days. Today is so-called... Um, Christmas <laughs> Eve, right? Mm -hmm. So we know in these days at work, you know, your co-workers, family. Every year. Yeah, every it's like, year, oh, I hate when year. these holidays come. So, yeah, so that's part of the struggles, um, not only individually, but, you know, as a married couple too, because um, the scriptures say how the wife is the weaker vessel. So the wife at work could be persuaded mm -hmm. to, to go down, you know, back to the vomit per se, right? It started with Eve. Right, so... so um, I think it's, um, you know, these, you know, where we're going with these videos, with these videos and this podcast is to have these discussions and um, uplift each other mm -hmm. and, you know, just just come out the scriptures and talk, you know, about our struggles and our walk as married couples in this truth, in the truth yeah. you know, because it could, you know, it, it's not just you anymore. Now it's you and your and your wife. Yes. Mm -hmm. So. It's a little bit more difficult, you know, because you can easily, as a man or as a wife or a woman, you can easily be persuaded mm -hmm. out of the truth. And you know even what I'm if you, it's for married couples, but it's also for, for single people because you can see this and hear the examples that married couples are going through and try your best to avoid it and, and know, you know, when you come into the truth and you meet a woman or you meet a man, you know, okay, your role as a woman and he knows his role as a man. And y'all can be strong from the get, you know? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's, that's yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. So. And then the term enduring to the end. This yeah. This is the whole point. We, so, again, <laughs> this is the first um, introduction video to this podcast. And we just wanted to introduce ourselves, <laughs> our story. Um, How we learned about the truth. And so we're going to, our next one, we're, we're going to go into the scriptures and we're going to start talking about being a married couple in this truth and the importance cuz there's a there's a there's a huge importance as a married couple in this truth it's 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 very important that if you're a married couple and you're in this truth that you act like a married couple and you be a married couple it's very very important and that they are on one page one accord one, one flesh page. right so it's it's very important and we're going to break it down as we go in through these videos according to the most high yeah right so you know hit the like button please subscribe and please share so that other couples could see this video and and you know you guys could start joining us in these conversations yes, that we have i definitely and want to hear other people what other people have to right say and what they so so like she said um you know hopefully we could have people come on and, and we could have discussions with other married couples. Mm -hmm. you know, and I, hear, I, go ahead. No, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Hear how they came into the truth. Right, hear their and story. Did they come into the truth together or did you meet somebody in the mm -hmm, truth? Mm -hmm. Like there's a song that they, he says, um, 
oh, I'm glad that we didn't meet on MySpace, but we met in the truth. <laughs> so it was, cool. it was pretty cool. Like, yeah, that's, like, <laughs> that's, that's true. That's true. But, um, yeah, so please hit the like button. Please subscribe and share. Yes, yes. And um, we'll see you on the next video. Yes. Bye. Shalom. Shalom. Most high Christ Most high Christ from my heart. I'm in love with your soul. I felt that from the start.